This is the next logic sim tutorial, and today we're going to be doing adders and subtractors. So, first of all, we're going to need to go under, under arithmetic and adder. So, this is now we're going to choose how much data bits, and as we used last episode, we're going to use four. So, it's a four bit adder, so it can go up to, actually go up to 13 bit, 30, a number as great as 30 because we're doing two four bit numbers. So, here, here and here, we're going to have four bit numbers. Two four bit numbers. And under output uh, under input output we can put use a uh, uh, LED matrix. This is basically many different LEDs with a Y and X coordinate. So we're gonna make so no, we're not gonna use that actually. What am I thinking? That's really bad. So under the pin we can use different data bits so this is how many different numbers on the pin we have so we're going to need four for each so just to make it much more compact so for that side and for this side so now we can have two four bit numbers and if you're wondering what this sin and, and c out is if you want to daisy chain many onto each other so the out goes into the in and so on and so on so the out is also the extra bit, so it actually only uh, outputs a, 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 a four bit number, but the output is an extra bit. So I'll show you how to add that on as well. So now we have our adder and our two inputs. We're going to need output. This is when we need the LED matrix. And we're going to, and first of all, we're going to have five columns and matrix rows we're gonna vote uh, we're gonna have one row so this is where our LED matrix is gonna be actually we're gonna need the LED matrix to be in rows so it's just one input that goes across here but first we're gonna need a bit extender a bit this is gonna be under memory I believe I believe wrong um, under wiring, yeah, bit extender here. So the, basically, what the bit extender does, it it, it it is it it extends the bit, so it's going to make it a bigger number. Because if we hook this here now, it's going to be orange and say four five. This basically means that it's outputting a four bit number, and this is wanting a five bit number, and they can't compat they're not compatible. So what the bit extender does is makes that four bit. Uh, the four bit number into a five into a five bit number so the four is going to be it the in bit is going to be four bit and out is going to be is going to be five the extension type is in, we're going to check input because if it was zero it'll just add a zero in front but an input is an extra number so we're just going to hook this up to the output and now we're going to connect it so now it's all connected Apart, oh, we have not all connected, so we have to hook this bit up to here. So now it's completely done. Uh, now it's all hooked up, and we have an input as well. So let's see how it works. So if we add them all together, which is probably the first thing going to do. So this is 16. So the bit width is the extra one because if you because uh, one because if you see here one 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 it's 16. So if we just take those what that one one away and add one one here, it's going to be the same because still uh, three plus twelve, which is still fifteen. Sixteen, whatever. Um, so probably one of the first things you're going to want to do is I just add them all together. So now you see we have uh, enough for this extra bit here. So this is just the output on because output would daisy chain onto another one but if we put them all on you'll see we get 30 that number there is 30 and this basically will add numbers like that so you just add these two bits will add together in the adder a subtractor works in a similar way subtracts one number from the other so under arithmetic under subtract they click on subtractor we'll make the subtractor a four bit so they don't have all the others so 
the out here is if it's a minus number or not. So what we're going to do is get rid of the fit extender and this. Make this one with four rows that's so just a bit smaller and we'll connect it to here. So now we'll just out have the output and the B out is whether it's minus, if it's a minus number or not if I'm correct. So we're going to have a light, an LED here and we're going to press on A and you can click wherever you want to put the text and we're going to say you can click minus number so now we know that this light's a minus number so we go back to our pointy finger and we can uh, do one so one uh, we can do uh, one oh oh which is four minus one well the, t the one and the one is two uh, a sphere sorry so it's a four minus the one equals two so if we if we make it, uh, this number bigger it will trigger this so now it's turning red because this number is bigger than this number so although it glitches a bit out for the output we know it's a minus number here because the lights come on so this is all we need to know about uh, adding and subtracting with bits uh, and thanks for watching goodbye